Lay them on me. Let's go. All right, hey there, my name is Danny Bevins. This is the 5Q interview. This is number five of the 5Q interview. Uh, today I'm with my good friend John Henry Ward, who Hello. we went to high, high school. school and college together. Shout out Paidea, shout out Elon. And we're gonna just ask each other five questions and figure out what the hell's going on in our lives right now. Word. Great, so I'll go first. John Henry, mm -hmm. we grew up in Atlanta. Yes. We're both now back in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your reasoning for choosing to come to the city and to develop your acting career in Atlanta. So I like plan to move to New York, like everyone we know. I plan to move to New York. I mean, I was nervous about moving to New York because, um, you know, money and money and money and it's intimidating. And then I was here and I was hanging out and I submitted for this project called The Boogie Woman. And I didn't come to October. Okay. But I auditioned in June. And I was like, okay, so I'll be here till October. Cool. I always really loved Atlanta. I like repped Atlanta. I talked about how great Atlanta is, how underrated it was. At oh, school, yeah. I'd be like, I felt like I had something to like prove about Atlanta whenever I would talk about it. The country. I agree with you, man. Yeah. I feel the same way. I feel like I'm always repping Atlanta. Yeah. And now, Atlanta's kind of like repping me. Because there's been like a switch of like all of a sudden everyone's like aware of Atlanta. Uh -huh. It's like on the radar. I love being back here. <laughs> I love the project and I love the process. And I was like, I want to do more of this. Mm -hmm. Did you worry about what other people were going to think? Definitely. Definitely. Because I, I mean, I would talk to my friends and I'd be like, There'd, there'd be like a small voice in my head screaming like, you know, like, I'm fine, like, this is what I want to do, like, I'm fine, I'm doing it, I'm doing my thing. Cool, mm -hmm. cool. And then I booked a TV show, and then I booked a movie, and I'm gonna play now. Yeah, which all, is the, all of a sudden you're like doing things, and you're like, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter where you are as long as you're accomplishing your mm -hmm. goals. Well, let's stay on the Atlanta thing. You're in the big, bad city, New York City, you're doing your thing, mm -hmm. you have jobs. Yeah. You're, you have your, uh, personal training, like you have your clients and shit. Why move to it? There's so many more things happening here. There's so many more opportunities. The things that I really care about as of recent, which is like hip hop music, pop music, and like TV film, that's, this is the mecca for that. And you're right, objectively, I really didn't need to leave. And I think a lot of people were like, whoa, why are you leaving? <laughs> but for me, it was lifestyle. I knew that Atlanta provided a better lifestyle for my needs. And I uh -huh. knew that I had way more potential with the amount of productivity I could accomplish here, which, which yeah. was creating an online following, creating online growth. The only thing that's forward motion for me was like TV, film, Broadway, tours. There's a lot of power in coming home. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically why. So tell me about the film that you were recently in. Oh, Elon um, Music Theater posted about a film that John Henry was in, and yes. it had the lead of Stranger Things. Yeah, she's in it. Cool. The boogie, it's it's funny. You just, you think that this really cool, really great indie film would be like the artistic fu artistically fulfilling thing. I'm a character, I play a role, I have a whole thing. I was on set for like a week. I really, what it was for me is I met some really great people. I made some friends. I love indie films and this is like a cool, I think, important indie film with like a great voice, a new voice. It's female directed, female written, oh, female awesome. produced. It's a coming of age female story. Great. So and it and it involves the Catholic Church. Cool. It's funny. It's not like super. Dramatic. This isn't blind spotting. No, it's I guess closer to Lady Bird. You know. Okay. Cool. But I really live for those like short films. Like the short film I did was just like. It was. Kind of leads to an interesting point. Uh, we're going a little bit off topic, but. The fact that everyone's so ADD right now and how art transitioned into being really concise and being short. So rather than having a two hour music album, people are releasing like three song EPs. But then isn't it so funny that like while that's happening, like TV, I don't know, like uh, like me and my girlfriend just binge Sabrina in a like Probably about a week. Pretty dope. And let's see, that's like, that's 10 episodes, and they're all about an hour long. That's 10 hours. Yeah, I think TV might be the only medium that has be able to step away from that right. and to do their own thing. And actually, TV is probably the only medium that has increased their running time. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. 
when I would do like some like cardio at the gym, I like would put it on. Yeah. I'd like watch it while I ate breakfast. I'd watch it while I pooped. I would That's watch why it. you need to do shit that can be viewed through the phone. <laughs> so through people, the iPhone. So people can watch it while they poo. Did you vote? I did vote. Oh, was that the question? That's literally all I can think about today. I voted um, Stacey Abrams. I voted early. I actually got my new driver's license the morning of the last day to early vote. Uh, so I went to the South DeKalb Mall. None of you watching, unless you're from Atlanta, know what South DeKalb Mall is, but I went to South DeKalb Mall. There was a line that would crisscross through the whole mall. It's a basically a really, really, really long hallway. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh shit, this is for the DMV line. It was actually for early voting. So I went to the DMV. I got a brand new Georgia's driver's license. I did a change of address through the post office. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know if I was registered. I registered to vote here, but I didn't know if it had followed through. So I went to Decatur. I went to that church that's right by the post office in Decatur. Mm -hmm. I stood in line for two and a half hours. I voted with my brand new driver's license that was made out of paper. Amazing. And I voted early on November 2nd. Today is November 6th. Today is the day of voting. It's really big and important for Georgia and Texas and Florida. So what I'm trying to figure out today, this mm -hmm. this, this will be my fault. My that was my A, and this is my B to the question. My B is now not every state has early voting, but why don't more people early vote? Because I know people who work nine to five, who are taking time off work today to stand in line and vote. Yeah. But I went at noon, lunch break time, uh, last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it probably took me 30, 30 minutes, minutes to vote. Yeah. I just, I don't get it. You don't get why people don't just early vote and get it done with? Yeah. I'm a man of action. I think you're a man of action. I'd rather just do it then and there. If I'm thinking about it, literally at 6.20 p.m. on November 2nd, I said to my mother, I said, I just feel like I should try to go vote right now. The polls were only open for 40 more minutes. So we drove from Tucker, Georgia to Decatur. I got there by 6.30, I stood in line, and they kept the polls open till like 9 p.m. Okay, so maybe one thing. I think more people just need to do things when they say they're gonna do them and just do them like that. Don't wait. There's so many more things that come onto your plate. Your inbox is never empty. Just go and do it right there. John Henry, tell me about your current show that you're starring in right now. Uh, I'm in The View Upstairs at Outfront Theater. Atlanta's, I think, premier gay theater. They've only been around for, I think, two years, maybe three. That's cool, though. Um, That's like you're in it already, and it's only been for a few years. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I think, I think it, I think uh, Paul is the, uh, I think he's the artistic director. He's also the director of the show. I would love to see Out Front just become, like, like some nationally recognized, like, gay theater. I think that would be amazing, and they do, they only do gay work, and they, um, you know that focus. <laughs> like, I'm very excited to be in a, such a new show and a new mm -hmm. musical, and I think Max Vernon. The um, it's a musical. Yeah, it's a musical. Awesome. So Max Vernon, he is the uh, he wrote the book and the music, and he did K-pop. And oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And a, another one I'm forgetting, but I just think he is an exciting voice in music theater because like you know that so much music theater feels stale. Not enough innovation happening. And there's tons of productions of West Side Story happening. Yes. Um, and I'm about to see one tonight, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what are you listening to? What album? If you, one album, you get one album to say that, like, what do you listen to right now? Travis Scott's Astro World. His whole brand is like rage and like kind of like this like pop rock, hip hop thing. And uh, he made the whole album feel like you were literally on a amusement park ride. And the reason that he went into music is because Astro World, which was a real amusement park in Houston, mm -hmm. closed down. And so from there, when he was like 17, he was like, well, fuck, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna go into music. So because Astro World closed down, he started working on music. And uh, the album's really great. It debuted number one. It is a really cool project that, for me, it definitely takes you on a journey. It's an artistic journey. And uh, yeah, so Travis Scott's Astro World. Outside, keep this concise. Okay. <laughs> Outside of acting, what are some of your major passions? Um, or I've your been, major passion? I've been like cooking a lot. Really? Mm -hmm. Cool. 
Um, just hitting all the different components of culture. Yeah, well, like I've been, so I, like I've been making kombucha for like a very long time. Been doing a lot of fermentation stuff. I made this like kind of fermented mustard, um, which is the best mustard I've ever tasted. And um, I've made these like fermented pickled eggs. Um, I've just been like really into reading these, reading cookbooks lately. That's awesome. Just um, making good food. That's like my little side passion. That's amazing. You know, I've low key perfected my recipe. Hey, um, yeah. get out of here with your fake fermentation. What are your personal goals? I don't really care about career. Like, what are your like? What is something that you want to do like for yourself to better yourself? I want to keep accomplishing all the things that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Like when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And I really am so sick of people talking and talking and talking about like, oh, I wish life was like this. Oh, I wish my career was like this. And it's like, motherfucker, you have the fucking internet in your pocket. Stop worrying about what people are going to think about you or your career or whatever. Just do it. Honestly, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing, which is making music, making sketches, making videos, making content, booking shows, and just keep doing what I'm doing. Where? Yeah. We're on our last question. So, John Henry, my last yes. question to you. The Let's last 5Q interview of number five. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is next for you? I'm, I'm, I'm writing a, a short film. That's like what... You're writing the screenplay to a short film? Yes. Cool. Um, so I'm uh, excited to finish that. Okay. Maybe we'll have to have you back on and talk maybe five questions yeah. just about the short film that you're Sounds producing. great. Do you have a part in there that I can audition for? Maybe. Possibly. It's it's very, um, it's like ever It's updating changing. itself. Yeah, it's like an amoeba. It's just it's, it's splitting and, and amoebas only divide. It's, I, it, mm, just cut it before. <laughs> <laughs> it's ever evolving. Yes. Like we are. Like humans. Like it's humans. a living script. That's really cool. And just what's next? What's next? I um, mean, I feel like that's a way to end it. What's next with you? What's next with I am me? originating a role <gasps> in an off, off-Broadway new musical called How the Westons Won. I'm playing Geronimo. So I'm finally playing a Native American role. Whoa. A Native American historical person. And I'm going to be doing to go that. Back yeah, right? That's how it works. <laughs> My whole goal was to be an Atlanta, New York actor, doing cool. w work in both cities. So I'm going to be leaving in about three weeks to go do that for a month. And then it's, uh, then you're back here. Then it's holiday season. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing next. So how the Westons won. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm so glad I asked that question. Thank you. Cause I wouldn't have known that. No, I haven't. Really you wouldn't have it. known that. This has been a five <laughs> Q interview. Number five with John Henry Ward. Great guy, awesome artist, he's doing great things, so check him out. What's your social media? Juan Enrique, it's a little complicated. Juan Enrique, but with an, a three instead of an E, so. With a three instead of an E. Oh, we'll post it somewhere, yeah, yeah. so if you're watching this, cool. Awesome, my man. Thank uh, yeah, have a good one. Peace.